It is 511 and still ahead this Thursday morning. Kate Nadelsky is talking about something seriously funny. Yeah, that's right, guys. Today marks the first official day of Laugh Fest, and I'll tell you what you need to know coming up. Well, it's finally here. The funniest festival in town. That's right. Kate Nadolski is live in Grand Rapids with the preview of Laugh Fest. Kate, how are organizers planning to kick things off this morning? Good morning, Deanna Mike. That's right. Right now, I'm inside the Grand Rapids Art Museum, and today marks the first day of Laugh Fest. And joining me now is Joanne Rome, who is the festival director. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Now, how are you guys planning to kick this big event off? We're so excited about tonight's community kickoff. We want to bring the rubber chicken toss world record back to West Michigan. So we broke it back in 2011. Uh -huh. It was stolen away from us by a group in Canada. It's time to bring those chickens home. So tonight at 5:30, a Calder Plaza. We're going to be trying to get that world record back. Great. How many do you guys need to break that world record once again? We need at least 1,000. And if you don't have a rubber chicken laying around at home, like maybe some folks don't, uh, we're going to provide a, a rubber chicken to the first 1,200 people that join us tonight for the world record. Oh, do you actually get to keep the rubber chicken? You can donate um, a high five. I have a button on here okay. uh, to our children's programs at Gilda's Club to take that chicken home with you yeah. and keep it. Yeah. So tell me what laugh Fest does. I know it's connected to Gilda's Club, but why is it so important to our community here in West Michigan? Sure. Well, first of all, who doesn't need a little ray of sunshine coming out of a Michigan winter? And the mm -hmm. last few days have been gorgeous. Um, we're raising awareness and proceeds for the important programs that are offered through Gilda's Club Grand Rapids. So we do 365 days a year, mm -hmm. free programming for the community for those um, that are on a cancer or a grief mm -hmm. journey. We also go into the schools. It's really important work, and Laugh Fest is a way for us to highlight and show showcase what we do year round and also raise some funds for yeah. our programs. And I mean, who doesn't need a good laugh, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's good for you. Yeah. So tell me about some of the big headliners that you guys will be having throughout this week. Yes. You know, we've got over 200 events over the course of the 10 days of the festival. Mm -hmm. We've got Kathy Griffin, Marlon Wayans, Seth Meyers for our big gala event. We've got Hassan Minaj and Roy Wood Jr. from The Daily Show. All kinds of events. But we also have free events, too. Okay. You can stop by here at Laugh Fest Center find out about all of the free programming and pick up some fast passes that will get you into those events okay. too. Um, if anyone's heading downtown throughout this week, is there anything that they should keep in mind if they do plan to come take part in Laugh Fest? Yeah, if you're not super familiar with the festival, like I said, Laugh Fest Central here, we've got an incredible staff of volunteers and staff that will be down here that can help guide you through the 10 days. They can sit down with you for the schedule and find something works for you and your family. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking with us, Joanne. Um, it sounds like like it's going to be an absolute fantastic week and it's you know open to all ages as you just heard some free events and also some big headliners coming to right here in our city of Grand Rapids. Now this runs from today until March 20th and for a full look at those events you can head to our website that's fox17online.com. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Kate Nadolski, Fox 17 News. All right Kate, thank you. Always a good time. Yes indeed, a lot of laughs. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it is time to get ready for the funniest festival in town. We're going to hear that music quite a bit. We aren't? sure are. Yeah, let's just crank it up. <laughs> Kate Nadelsky is live in Grand Rapids with more on today's kickoff of Laugh Fest. <laughs> Hey, Deanna, Mike, that's right. Right now I'm at the Grand Rapids Art Museum, and today marks the first official day of Laugh Fest for this year, and they're kicking it off, trying to break a world record. Now, joining me right now is the president of Gilda's Club. This is Wendy. Now, tell me why you guys do this every year. Well, you know, the whole background of Laugh Fest was to raise visibility of who we are and what we do, which is for Gilda's Club Grand Rapids, and it's been a great way to help people understand the importance of laughter for the health of it and emotional health. So mm -hmm. that's that's a lot of what's behind it and then of course um, just wanting to bring the community together and to experience the health benefits of laughter true to our namesake Gilda Radner it's an opportunity for people to laugh and have fun. Yeah, so speaking of laughter, what kind of things are you guys doing this week that you're hoping will, you know, 
make some people laugh. My goodness, there's something for everybody. That's one thing that's uh, true about Laugh Fest. And so for today, uh, we have the kickoff, the world record. We're hoping to have at least a thousand people throw rubber chickens simultaneously. That'll be fun. This weekend, we've got some things that you're going to talk about in a moment in terms of underwear. But we have the Kids Super Saturday, which is going to be almost like an indoor carnival for kids. It's just a fabulous thing. People and Pets is on Sunday, but we also have a lot of tickets available for sale, too. So artists that are performing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then, of course, we go all the way through March 20. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. It sounds like it's going to be a great family fun week for everybody here in Grand Rapids. And I'm going to turn over here to Doug. Now, you are in charge of the Thunderwear Run, which has a pretty great name. So what is that? The Thunderwear Run is a race we have on, on Sunday, March 13th. It's a 5K. And what we do is ask all the participants to come out and dress up in their underwear. Last couple of years, it's been pretty cold, so they had to put their underwear over their tights. But this year, uh -oh. nice and warm. It's going to be great. I think you just got a, a rubber chicken tossed at you. Oh, <laughs> and you got another one. Well, um, so you've done the Thunderwear run in the past, correct? Correct. This is our third year. It happens at 10 a.m. at uh, Ford Field House mm -hmm. at GRCC. Um, still plenty of time to come down and sign up. Online registration okay. closes Friday morning. You can sign up again at uh, Gazelle Sports from 4 to 7 on Saturday and then race morning from 8 till 10. What's it like seeing everyone come out in their underwear to run a race? You'd be surprised at what you'll see on a Sunday morning in Grand Rapids at the Thunderwear Run. <laughs> Everything from whitey tighties to superwear, superhero oh fun underwear. It's a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us. It sounds like it's going to be a great time. Now, Laugh Fest runs from today until March 20th. We'll have a list of all the events on our website. That's fox17online.com. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Kate Nadolsky, Fox. 17 News. All right, let's do this thing solo. Lots of hilarious comedians will be heading to West Michigan for the funniest festival in town starting today. This is Deanna's Reed. Kate Nadelski is live in Grand Rapids with a preview of Laugh Fest. Good morning. Good morning. I heard you guys having some laughs of your own just a few seconds ago back at the studio. But right now we are at Laugh Fest. It's, it's the very first day. I'm inside the Grand Rapids Art Museum and I'm joined by the director of the Graham. Um, thank you so much for joining me. How are you today? Oh, it's good. It's, I love Laugh Fest. It's great to be here with a bunch of people kicking it off. Yeah, and you look pretty dapper. So tell me about your outfit you have on. Well, Is it specifically you. for Laugh Fest? Absolutely. Well, I have a board meeting today, so I'm wearing a suit. But I have my um, sparkly Laugh Fest tie. And in my pocket, I have a rubber chicken. Because tonight, we're going to break, uh, break the world record that we lost to someone else. Uh, ah. from about six years ago, um, when I was just visiting Grand Rapids, considering taking this job, I heard about this crazy thing called Laugh Fest. And um, someone said, I've got to go to an event tonight. We're going to throw rubber chickens. And I yeah. went, what? And then I thought, Craziness. this is my kind of town, a town yeah. that has a sense of humor, that they care about important things such as um, grief. Um, and so Gilda's Club and Laugh Fest has been part of my life mm -hmm. since, since I've been yeah. here. And it's an important part of the community. So if you're not involved, think about getting involved. Mm -hmm. Come down tonight at Rosa Parks. Uh, no, it's not Rosa Parks Circle where it was last time. Calder Plaza, it's 5.30 p.m. Be mm -hmm. part of this great energy. Yeah, um, and again, this is Dana Fries Hansen. I forgot to mention name, your name before, but I know you're very involved in the art aspect. Tell me how laughter is art. Oh, well, you know what? The most important thing is that when people connect with their emotions mm -hmm. um, one way or another, there's joy, there's sadness, and when I say, I, when I talk to people about art, I say, you should own your art experience. And I think you should own your laughter experience and your grief experience. And so that's a process. And that um, comedy is an art. It's a, it's, and when people are really good at it, you know. Um, and, it, and it moves you. And so that's very important. And um, Gilda's Club and Laugh Fest have opened up a whole realm of experiences for people here in the Midwest. And, and you should also know, people come from all over the country for this. Yeah. So it's a really great flag um, to show the exciting things that go on in Grand Rapids year round, even, even in the shoulder season of yeah. March. Do you have a specific event that is your favorite that will be happening this year? Wow. Um, there's a lot. You know what? I, I say to people, go to something 
um, that to go to a, a, a performer that you've never heard of, go to a venue that you've never been to, because um, Grand Rapids is full of rich corners, um, as well as the centers. So yeah. the headliners are fantastic. I'm going to be um, uh, going to the celebration and the, um, the big event on Saturday, but I also like the, the small things that happen at 10 o'clock in the morning at, yeah. um, in churches and schools and things like that. That's I say that for Art Prize, too. Go to some place that you've never yeah. been before be a tourist in your own city. That's great advice. Thank you so much for talking with us. Now, as you just heard, lots of things going on for not just adults, but the entire family, so you can bring them down. It runs from now until March 20th, and for a full look at all the information, as well as a list of all the different events that are happening, you can head to our website. That's fox17online.com. Reporting live in downtown Grand Rapids, Kate Nadolski, Fox 17 News. <laughs> It is time to get ready for the funniest festival in town. Kate Nadelski is live in Grand Rapids with more on today's kickoff of Laugh Fest. Good morning. Good morning, Mike Deanna. That's right. Right now I'm inside the Grand Rapids Art Museum for the first official day of Laugh Fest. Now joining me is actually a comedian herself. This is Deb. And a rumor has it you came all the way from Canada. Yes. Actually, I'm from Toronto, but then okay. I moved to L.A. And then I've come here now from Los Angeles. Wow. It would have been quicker from Toronto, but yeah. no. I like to make it dramatic yeah. as possible. Why, why the trip to come all the way here to, to Grand Rapids for Laugh Fest? Because this is a good festival. I mean, I, I've uh, worked at Dr. Gwen's before, which is a fabulous club here. Uh -huh. And then they've asked me to do the festival and a festival is always fun it's like comedy camp yeah. do you know what I mean like everyone gets together yeah. and you eat too much and you drink too much and you don't sleep and it's fantastic and there's yeah. lots of jokes <laughs> right there's a lot of jokes and mm -hmm. it's great and there's so many and there's so many great comics too it's nice yeah. to see everybody too so it'll be fun yeah what do you think about the cause I know this is put on by Gilda's Club mm -hmm. um you know what do you think it's, about that? That's, it's, that's always a good cause. I mean, anything to do for uh, Gilda's Club is, is, is wonderful. So it, that's just like a, sort of the icing on the cake. We get yeah. tell jokes and it's for a good reason. So that's, it's a win-win. Yeah. It's a win-win. Yeah. Now, I was told that you are a part of the clean comedy. Yes. Yes. Can you explain, you know, what that is and, yeah. you know, what, you, what you'll be taking part in throughout this week? This is, um, they've got, all, you know, a bunch of different shows all week. The schedule is varied. Mm -hmm. But the clean comedy show, anyone can come to this. No one's going to be, you don't have to worry about it. You can, you know, bring younger people people you can bring your grandma and she's still gonna enjoy it you don't grandma. have to cover grandma's ears or anything okay. but it's just it's still funny and I think it's one of those things that uh, people don't realize that you can you can be clean and you don't have to curse to be funny you know yeah. I mean sometimes cursing is fun but yeah. not tonight this you weekend it'll be nice you yeah I have all the little grannies yeah. at home watching TV right now saying you're supposed to take me to this yes, come yeah. up yes white hair and blue hair is absolutely <laughs> uh, and any shade between is absolutely welcome I love it. So sounds awesome and very family friendly. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite part of Laugh Fest? <gasps> well, so far, I mean, I'm looking forward to the chicken toss is yes. what I've been told. Yeah. So I think we're supposed to do that. I think tomorrow, today or something, we're going to be tossing ch anything. I'm into it. I don't know what it yeah. means, but I'm looking forward to finding out. And lastly, as a comedian, yeah. do you have any jokes in your back pocket that you could just whip out for yeah, us right well, now? You know, today it was funny because I got up early early this morning, went for a quick walk, and I immediately got cat called. <laughs> and me, of course, it was it was real cats, though. It was real cats. <laughs> they know I'm their leader. Oh, okay. They can tell. Oh, well, clearly you are a must-see <laughs> show. Hopefully. Thank you so much for <laughs> chatting you, with Kate. us. As you can see, there's going to be some good talent all throughout the rest of this week here in Grand Rapids, a part of Laugh Fest as supported by Gilda's Club. Now, for more information, information on these different events and when you can check them out, just head to our website. That's fox17online.com. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Kate Nadolski, Fox 17 News.